10 of the world's most stacked Valorant squads will be at Masters, so here are the players to watch from each team. Number 10. Light Shark Esports secured Brazil's second seed in an upset win off the back of their tried and true omen, Light. While most regions around the world have ditched this shadowy agent for Astra, Brazil's teams are sticking to their guns. Watch out for him lighting up the darkness with Valorant's OG controller. Number 9. Munchkin Munchkin joined Crazy Raccoons as the squad's sentinel, but recently he's found a playstyle much more in line with his team's name. With his return to duelists, Munchkin has slotted in as entry fragger, clearing a path for Zephyr. But his time spent on the likes of Cypher and Killjoy will give him options if Crazy Raccoons need to pull a fast one on another squad. Number 8. Zombs Everyone knows about the fracking power of Tens, and you could find a place on this list for any one of the Sentinels, but Zoms will fill the most interesting role for the team in Iceland. As the squad's controller, he'll be the man trying to combat the slower playstyles of Korea and Europe, providing the utility for his team's success. Any momentum that you possibly carry over, you're gonna need it for the next pistol round. He gets swung on by Steel, they're back from the dead. A flash coming out, Hiko trying his best with his ulti, he gets shut down, they fall off of the spike, it's just absolute oh. chaos, back he goes, and Ethan's not going to be able to do it, a clutch from Zoms! Number 7. Klaus Crew Esports are coming into Masters after dominating their competition, dropping only two of their last 18 maps. Their sentinel extraordinaire Klaus carried them on their way to Reykjavik, and he'll need to perform at his absolute peak to keep the Latin American dream alive. <laughs> Number 6. Boaster Fnatic have recently made some roster changes, but the key piece in getting their squad back up to fighting strength was their fearless leader, Boaster. Rallying after a disappointing Stage 1, Boaster led his team to an impressive run in Stage 2. Fnatic's boisterous shot caller has an insanely cool head under pressure. Expect some massive IQ plays from the European representatives that can send them right to the top. How is he alive? still alive, man? Snake <laughs> bites, off shots, wall bangs, Boaster. He gets it onto Red Gardner. He was low HP, but it's still the operator now swapped over to a rifle. Defo knows that his opponent is tagged up, but so is he. The HP just about even when you take Vandals into consideration. And the spike now planted. Hunter's Fury to be popped. He's searching for a victim, trying to find Defo or bait him into a fight, but Defo doesn't move. The recon out for the left side. Defo needs to swing. This is so awesome. Awkward, but Boaster gets away with it in the end. Number 5. Patifan. Patifan had only been playing with X10 for a month when they won the Southeast Asia Finals, and every series he played was better than the last. The matchup against Full Sense in the Grand Finals saw him drop 84 kills in just four maps. It's safe to say that with almost a month of prep time with his new squad, Patifan will come in as an even larger threat, making the Thai team a real dark horse. They're also going to go for the cost of the fight, but look at this one! No! Patifan takes advantage! He will see the lineup and he will get the takedown! Love the pixel play there from Scary, and he is going to go for the graphic well as well. Try to give Patifan the ace! Number 4. Penny Version 1 shocked everyone as the surprise second seed from NA, while orgs like Cloud9 and 100 Thieves crashed out. But their youngest member, Penny, came through as a top-tier jet with some insane mechanics in the Challengers Finals. After outperforming top NA talent like Poison Baby Bay, Penny will have a chance to test his metal against the best the world has to offer. No showstopper coming his way. There's the Discipline Corner. It doesn't get checked again. Penny gets one onto Poise, wraps around the pillar, gets a second one as well. Looking for the third, line him up and knock him down. Celsus gets in on it as well. B1 pick Cloud9 apart. Number 3. Sassy. Team Vikings have been far and away the best team in Brazil with a suffocating sea agent, kill agent style. Sassy is a major factor in that success, providing info with Sober that allows the rest of his team to play aggressively. But he provides more than just utility. Often found at the top of the scoreboard with a 1.5 KD, his Sova might be the best at Masters. Number 2. Lakia. New Turn made an amazing run in the last month, winning 8 games without dropping a single map and beating Juggernaut Vision Strikers. 
While all eyes have been on Allow, his right-hand man Lakia has been quietly carrying Newton in series after series. Rocking a massive range of agents, Lakia does it all. While he spends most of his time on Sova as Newturn's primary info gatherer, don't be shocked to see him pick up the jet if he's feeling frisky. He is still firing shock bolts up here. There's not much more time left in this round. Only needs to buy a little bit of time here. Oh, stands in an interesting location, oh. gets another couple kills. Number one, Scream. Fans have been calling for peak Scream for a long time, and the wait has paid off. The Team Liquid star has rediscovered the IT factor and has been running through the rest of the EU competition. Getting some much-needed help with the addition of Yampi, Scream can mop up his teammates' entries and has pushed Liquid to the next level. He's usually on Phoenix, but his Battle Sage is even scarier. In Scream's hands, Valorant's healer turns killer, and everyone else in Iceland will need a counter ready to take him down. Counter, rather, of popping down the old pushing mid to catch them oh, on the way and God. scream! Oh my God, man! Head headshot after headshot! Which player are you most excited to see at Masters? Let us know in the comments below.